me. Today we will be doing our program to show the relational operators that are used in QVC. We have already done this with the blue J and right now we will be doing with the relational operator, uh, operators that are used in QVC. Now there are six relational operators that are used in QBASIC. Those are greater than, less than, greater than equal, less than equal, less than or equal, and equal to operator and not equal to. So these are the six relational operators present. These relational operators are used along with the conditional statements in QBASIC. I repeat, these relational operators are used along with the conditional operators in QVC. So, today we will be doing a conditional operator program and a relational and these relational operators in it. So, let's start. So, we will Start the program. When the conditional be doing the if statement over here or the conditional statement if it is rather known as if then else block or if then else statement now we'll write the condition suppose if a is greater than b then what happens we'll print write the end if statement over here. That will signify the end of the conditional statements. So here if then the condition where we have used one con relational operator greater than and then we write the then keyword. Now if this condition is true then the print statement inside this if block will be executed and it will print the largest is the variable the, and the, it will print the largest is and the value which is present in the variable a if it is not true if the condition is not true and it comes out to be false then it will print the largest is the value in the variable b uh, that's all we don't have to write anything else we'll end the program over here and we'll write n now we'll go to r run and start executing the program program is getting compiled right now and the output window comes up we will give 22 values suppose 10 and 20 so 10 is getting is saved in variable a and 20 is saved in variable b and c we can say that the largest is 20 we will do Another example opposite to it. We click on run and start executing the program. Now we'll give 20 and 10. 
so the largest is 10. We can check with the permission over here. We can see the program. A is getting saved in A, uh, 20 is getting saved in A and 10 is getting saved in B and it is getting checked that A is greater than B. If it is as it is true then the largest is printed with the variable value with the value we print in variable A. So that's all. We we'll press an enter key to close the output window. I hope it is helpful to you. Please like to the to this video if it is helpful if it was helpful to you also share it with your friends and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and share it with your friends and relatives so that we can grow that's all for today thank you